transactions. Accurate balancing of the budget. Careful tracking of spending and fundraising totals. These are three promises that I, Genevieve Simons, make to you as treasurer for the 2018-2019 school year. These hands will work responsibly and timely to keep the finances of our school on track. Roosevelt Sports and Clubs deserve a treasurer who gives them the right amount of money to the right place right away, and I will be that person. At Roosevelt, the title treasurer does not only mean in charge of the budget, but also a leadership position in this school. My personal priority for the 2018-19 school year can be summed up in one word, represent. I will use my voice and change the faces you see at every assembly and voices you hear on the announcements. We need to seek out a wide variety of students to lead each event so that every individual feels and understands how important they are to this community. If we buy into this vision for Roosevelt, each and every student will feel known, valued, confident, and empowered. For an accurate budget and for the goal of representation, I'm Genevieve Simons, your treasurer. Thank you. Hey Roosevelt, I'm Katie Brown and I'm running to be your next secretary. I've been on the ASR both my freshman and sophomore year and I hope to continue with leadership and take on this important role next year. Along with ASR, I participate in various sports and activities at Roosevelt and I feel involved and included in the community. However, it is a clear issue at Roosevelt that many students do not feel welcome, represented, or heard. My goal as secretary is to tackle these issues by taking endless notes to report back to the student body and making sure to input your thoughts and ideas in important discussions, projects, and meetings. I also want to create more events to raise school spirit. Inclusion and spirit are very important to me. I believe they go hand in hand and begin with all voices being heard. I can promise to make next, to try my hardest to make next year the best year yet if I can get your vote. So remember, don't frown, vote for Katie Brown. Hey guys, I'm Jane Merlino. I'm a junior here at Roosevelt and I'm running to be your 2019 secretary, AKA Notekeeper. Since coming to Roosevelt, I have always wanted to be a part of the leadership team. I was voted on to student council my sophomore and junior year. I helped to fundraise and organize student activities like field day and winter ball. I think I would make an excellent secretary because I am passionate about making our school better, I'm good at listening, and keeping things organized. Although I may not have the best handwriting, I know I can take some killer notes. As secretary, one of my goals would be to create a strong line of communication between ASR and the student body. I want to make sure that our website is always updated and can be somewhere you guys can go for the latest information about our school. I'm hoping you will trust me to make the best notes and keep our communication running smoothly the next year. So vote for me, Jane Merlino, as your 2019 secretary, aka keeper of the notes. Good morning, Roosevelt. My name is Whitney Nagel, and I'm running to be your vice president for the 2018-2019 school year. If I get elected, I want to raise awareness about common learning disabilities that frequently go unnoticed. I recognize that people who struggle with hidden hardships such as ADHD or dyslexia are often misunderstood by people who encompass common misconceptions about the diagnosis. I want to destroy these misconceptions and find a way to provide support to those who may not have a way to speak up for themselves on the matter. In addition, I want to be your vice president next year because I believe that I can support our student body in becoming bold, open-minded leaders of the community. To do this, I plan to implement the idea of 360-degree thinking or strategic and open-minded problem solving. 360-degree thinking is about learning from the past to gain a better understanding of the present to make more optimal decisions moving forward into the future. Everyone has run into challenges at one point or another, and I believe that presenting this way of thinking would benefit our community and help spread ideas for how to solve problems and make decisions more efficiently. The purpose of leadership is to produce more leaders, not more followers. Roosevelt, I want to be your vice president next year so that I can support you in having an amazing school year. Thank you, and go Riders! Hey writers, my name is Jalen Johnson and I am running to be your vice president next year. I have been in leadership since I was elected onto freshman class council. I was also on sophomore class council and this year I am Roosevelt's media specialist. I have loved my time on ASR and would no doubt love being your vice president for my final year. I don't enjoy hyping myself up and I refuse to put others down so all I can say is this. If elected, I would take this position seriously and make it a priority. 
as I have with all my roles in the past. As VEEP, I will work alongside the President as well as other members of the Roosevelt community, including you, and be involved in the planning of school events and well-being. One issue that I will especially focus my attention on is mental health, stress, and the happiness of students. I want to help create an environment where you feel comfortable, able, and supported to be your best selves. A personal goal of mine for next year is to get even more involved, to ensure that the perspectives of us students are heard, our ideas, opinions, and concerns are well represented, to help create a more united community at Roosevelt. Vote me, and next year will be incredible. Ladies and gentlemen of Roosevelt High School, my name is Oscar Cruz, and my job today is to tell you why you should vote me for student body vice president. First of all, I've always been interested in leadership. I first joined in eighth grade at Eckstein Middle School, and since then, I've been on junior class council at Roosevelt High School. Second of all, I'm very dedicated to the position, and I know what the population wants. Third of all, I play lacrosse, duh. Fourth of all, I'm 50% Danish, and Denmark is like the happiest country on earth, so we're on the right track, now all you gotta do, but in cruise control. Hey writers, I'm Luna Piper and I'm a different person than I was when I first ran and yes, 2015 to be on your freshman class council. I'm a different person because of Roosevelt, the people, the teams, the staff, the spirit. As I've spent my time at Roosevelt, I've realized that yes, I do bleed green and gold as many of you probably know, but I also stay true to a concept from S.E. Hinton's book, The Outsiders. It is called Stay Gold. This concept embraces the youth and the fact that we are loud. We are a generation of loud voices with loud intentions, and I have every intention of getting your loud voices heard. From sitting in on IC and BLT meetings with administration to voice your concerns, to helping ASR find the best possible way to host events like dances, pep rallies, and assemblies. So tell me what change you want to see at Roosevelt. Tell me how you hate the parking situation and I'll write a petition. Tell me how you love the diversity assembly and I'll make every assembly just as good. I will do everything in my power to make your votes count and have your voices actually be heard. This isn't about my opinions or what I want to do. This is about your view and how you want Roosevelt to look and how I can put that into action. I bleed green and stay gold and I hope you all will too. Thanks Roosevelt, ride and rough, and don't forget, vote Luna. What's up, Riders? I'm Josie, and I'm running for student body president because I am passionate about this school and its students. We spend more time here than anywhere else outside of our homes, so it's important that this is a place where each one of us can thrive. One, of exa one example of how I hope to make Roosevelt benefit each individual is by adjusting rider time so that it fits your needs. I plan on accomplishing this by working alongside you and our administration to make mindfulness a rider time choice, not a requirement. This would look like leaving classrooms open for those vital 20 minutes of study time while having dedicated available spaces for students who wish to partake in mindfulness. As president of Student Health Council and vice president of Roosevelt Suicide Prevention Team, I've learned how to lead a large group of people. But more importantly, I've learned how to listen, which is exactly what I want to do for you. I want to facilitate an open and easy communication between ASR and the student body by setting up specific times each quarter where students can come in and voice any and all concerns that they might have about our school. If elected, I will give my all and try my best to be the best president and representation of this school that I can. So remember, for the last time, don't hate a lot, vote hate a lot.